The Second Voyage of Sinbad the Sailor Part 1 There was once a sailor from Baghdad called Sinbad. He made seven long voyages in his life. They were all full of adventures. He met many strange people and saw many strange things. When he was old, he liked telling people about his adventures and they liked listening. This is the story of his second voyage. When I returned home from my first voyage, I lived a comfortable life in the city for some years. Then I began to get bored. I dreamt of sailing the seas again. I wanted new adventures. One morning, I packed my chest and travelled to the port of Basra. There was a good, strong ship in the harbour and it was ready to sail. I got on it. We travelled from port to port and from island to island. The other passengers on the ship were merchants and, when we stopped, they bought and sold things. Soon, I began to do the same. Weeks and months passed pleasantly, but without adventure. Then, one day, the wind took our ship to a strange and beautiful island. There were trees with delicious fruit, flowers of many colours and streams of sweet water. The air was full of the songs of birds, but there weren't any people. The other passengers started to explore the island. I was tired, so I sat under a tree. I ate some of the delicious fruit from the trees and drank some of the sweet water from the streams. Then I fell asleep. When I woke up, I looked around. I was alone on the island. I looked out to sea and saw my ship on the horizon. I began to feel afraid. Oh, poor me, I said. What shall I do now? I walked around the island for an hour or more. Then I climbed a tall tree. I can get a better view of the island from the top of a tree, I thought. I looked left and right, but I saw only trees, flowers, birds, the sea and the sky. Then I looked more carefully. There was a big white object in the distance. I decided to go and have a look at it. When I got nearer, I saw that it was a dome. I touched it and walked round it. It was very smooth and very big, but there were no doors or windows in it. Suddenly, it became dark. I looked up and saw an enormous bird above me. It covered the sun. A rock! I said to myself, and this white dome is her egg. I remembered a traveller's story about these birds. It said that rocks caught elephants for their babies to eat. Just at that moment, the bird landed on top of her egg and soon she was asleep. I quickly took off my turban and tied one end of it to the rock's foot and the other around my waist. Perhaps this bird will take me to a land where there are cities and people, I thought. I waited all night. In the morning, the rock woke up and flew away, and she took me with her. She didn't take me very far. We landed on the side of a mountain. I quickly untied my turban and hid behind a rock. The rock picked up a huge snake in its talons and flew away. I looked around me. I saw a lot more snakes. They were sleeping among the rocks. This is a terrible place, I thought. There was fruit to eat and water to drink on the island, but there are only snakes here. <laughs>